It's Bourbon Night. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, this is our wild card rye flight. That's right. This is kind of crazy. We got um, kind of crazy. We got kind of crazy. Things got a little out of control. The truth is, we're a little indecisive. Yes. We wanted, to, we were having so much fun with the rye flights, we didn't want to stop. What was what was originally going to be one rye flight. Right, it was originally going to be one. Then we were like, Turned well. Turned into three brackets. Three, now we're adding a fourth because, and this one has five in it, because we just couldn't choose. What are we doing? And, let's just go ahead and tell them. Let's just tell them. There's going to be a sixth. No, a no, fifth. A fifth. <laughs> well then, a sixth yeah, will be the Yeah, the sixth will be the final. Six will be the final. So, one of our uh, awesomely generous friends, Rick Clopan, um, messaged us and was like, hey, how about some harder to find, uh, you know, rise yeah. uh, stuff from like BTAC and uh, a whistle pig, which everyone's been crying about. He's and, like our, uh, our liquor fairy godmother or something. But not that way. Very godfather. You know what I mean. Yeah. He's yeah. granting all of our wishes. And I know our that, genie. Yes, he's our genie in a bottle. You just have to rub him the right way. No, don't rub him. Why? Hey, come on. Um, and I know that we said that this was all about more obtainable, mm -hmm. but this is a wild card. Mm -hmm. That one's going to be kind of a wild card. And then at the end, we will have another final flight of five, all winners from the previous five brackets. So you know so, they'll all be good. So you can just get whichever one you can find. We're just throwing the whole kitchen sink at this we thing. We got excited. Yeah. And we didn't want to stop. We didn't want to stop. We just couldn't hide it. <laughs> and here's the other thing. Um, the last one we did, when we had four, we randomly put ours in the same order. Weird. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a first. I can't remember that yeah. happening before. And people seemed to like it. So we were doing the same thing at the same time. Exactly. It was just easier for people to follow along at home. <laughs> so that's fine. We did the same thing. These are in the same order. So what we did, we poured them. Then I mixed two up. You know, if I moved one, I moved the one right behind it. So it was the same one. Then I went away. Sarah did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So they're in an order. They're the same order. Right. But we don't know. We what don't the know order what is. order because so they all have. That's how we did it. They all have a, dot, a sticky dot on Underneath. the bottom with A through yeah. E written on them. Yeah. They were in the same order and we mirrored the moves on both of them. So whatever order they're in, Science. they're in the same order now. I know. I'm like, whoa, yeah. that, that's crazy. We can do a blind flight for ourselves and keep them in the same order. Exactly. Who knew? Now to even randomize it another time, which some people say isn't, isn't uh, useful and it might not be now. It used to be in our yeah. old method, <laughs> but we're still doing it. It's just fun. Random.org told us to start with D, with four. number four. Yeah. So we're gonna start with D and then go back. Just another, you know, random. Just another way to just mix it up. Just another random mix up. So again, no real parameters in this one. We have stuff in the 80s, uh, 90, and then we even have a, a barrel proof. I guess we should actually talk should about Should we tell the them rise. what we, we have? We should just tell them, yeah. Let's tell them what we have before we start mm, drinking. Okay, what are they? So today we have Old Overholt. It's an 80 proof and it's three years. Sazerac Rye, better known as Baby Saz, which is 90 proof and is not age stated. Roaming Man Tennessee Rye Whiskey and it's 120.98 proof and it's two years and five months. Michter's US 1, 84.8 proof and no age statement. And Old Henry Clay, which is 86 proof and aged over two years. Okay, so uh, you know a couple newer ones in there. The old mm -hmm. Henry Clay haven't had that before. We haven't. That just we that just started popping up. Yeah. I feel like. And then the Roaming Man, we actually just uncorked, but we haven't released that yet. Yep. So that's uh, yeah. That's a new. That's a new one. A little and harder to find. A little harder to find. Regionalized, but it was tasty. So yeah, it comes in a three seven five. Now that's our barrel strength one. Yep. yep. So we've just got a random mixture of yes. this and that that we just didn't want to turn away. And so we didn't because all are welcome all in are this welcome. rye flight. That's right. So. Okay. Righty. That smells young. <laughs> well, it smells like uh, it's got a lot. Of, it's a. It smells heavy, heavy spice. Spice. Yeah. With the rye. Heavy clove. Just a backhand of clove. Yeah. Which honestly, based on our experience, would make me think it's the Jamesy Pepper, so it's the Henry Clay. But I've never had it before. But it is also very light. It is. Very light. So I think it's young, and I think it might be a high rye. Yeah. Rye. The, the old Henry Clay is aged over two years, so less than three. So what that, that's what that means. Is that what that means? <laughs> that's what that means. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ooh. Am I getting more used to this flavor? Because it, it tastes weaker, I think, than the ones we've had recently. 
it's not as it doesn't taste as young as the nose would indicate. Right. Um, I do still think it has a heavy clove. It's very clove forward. Mm-hmm. But I think what's the proof on that? Proof is 86. So proof? I think that's prop. The proof is 86 proof. The proof is 86 proof. Nice. It's in the pudding. I heard it's in the pudding. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, I think that might be why it's more tolerable to you. Or I'm just getting used to it because you go back to, to the the bullet with the 95% rye and True. it was, and was it was in the uh, 80s and I wasn't digging that and I thought the higher the proof I might like it better. So I don't know. I have to say I'm a little surprised by how much I don't hate this based on the nose. I thought yeah. I was really going to hate this. Yeah. Um, it's actually not bad. I wouldn't personally choose it because it's a little mild for me. It just kind of feels a little flat. But it's fine. It's very different. I mean, I would, I could drink it after a couple when your tongue's fatigued and you just yeah. want to have something to drink. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Much darker in color. More of the, you get more of the bourbon. Yeah. Smells like this one has a lot more caramel in it. Yeah, more of a caramel nose. <sighs> I still get spice. Though. I still get some pepper. Yeah, yeah for sure. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I definitely get pepper. But again, like you said, more of a bourbon mm. base. Yeah. Um, more which maybe <coughs> cocoa I, powder or, you know, yeah cocoa. some cocoa and pepper to me this one has a little bit more personality mm. than D I still don't know though it's a little bitter on the end I'm kind of getting a coffee note which I'm not enjoying because I don't like coffee mm. but I guess I don't notice it because I do like coffee <laughs> yeah maybe it's it's more of that you know powdered chocolate kind of flavor yeah I guess I could pick up like an espresso maybe that's like the bitterness that I'm getting yeah Intriguing. <laughs> All right. A. A. Well, to me, this smells a little bit nutty. Banana bread or some type of banana, like banana syrup. No, I could agree with you on like a banana nut flavor or smell, but like a, a fake one. Yeah, synthetic. Yeah, like a synthetic oh, oh, banana uh, syrup. Overly sweet, mm -hmm. kind of. Hmm. I get banana nut Whoa. on the palate, too. That's and interesting. If oh. You no, it gets dry, but not just dry. It gets like, uh, um, uh, this. this is my taste buds. It gets, this. <laughs> it gets the claw. It gets the claw. The claw. <laughs> uh, reference, uh -huh. movie reference the down, in the, down is, in the comments. Is it a movie? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was from Friends. <laughs> oh, well, it could be if I said the claw. And that would be Toy Story, but that's not oh, what I was going for. I'll I tell you later. That. Well, here, I'll tell you and I'll just beep it. It's from. Oh, yeah! Mm hmm. Huh. Let's see if they get it. Because that's really what this show's about. <laughs> just guessing the We're movie really references. Just here while we do. Just slide movie references yeah. into our tastings. I don't know. It went with like this. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Just the, uh, it wasn't that pleasant of a finish. If I were baking banana nut bread and I wanted to throw some rye whiskey into it, this would be what I would choose. Drinking? It's too sweet, like in a syrupy way to me. <coughs> and it's it's just, like I said, kind of synthetic flavor. I don't know. I'm not digging it. Now, I will say the second taste was better. Mm-hmm. But I still don't like it. This one to me has more of like a wood nose, but not intense. See, I'm still getting a lot of uh, sweetness. Whoa, like a cherry syrup and Kinda. some wood is what I'm getting. A cherry wood. Cherry wood? <laughs> I don't know. What does cherry wood even taste like? <laughs> kind of, again, a little bit with the bananas, not as much. I think that's just the, the sweetness. I will say this one has given me the most kind of um, fire on the tongue. It's a little tingly. It's a little tingly. Nothing to like... It's got some heat to it. Yeah, nothing yeah. to... To write home about. It's but the first one that's kind of settled a little bit right here. Yeah, that's kind of like, hey, by the way, <laughs> you're drinking. I'm a spicy ride. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our last one. This <laughs> is by far the darkest. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling just by the color, I know yeah, which one this yeah, is. Yeah, and that's unfortunate, but you know, we kind of knew that. I I'm won't just... let that color my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> color, because <laughs> it's dark. Oh, oh, yeah. That one has the most nose to it. Woo! Because it's probably the highest proof. Right. That is like brown sugar. Brown vanilla. sugar. Yes. It's, it's yeah. just, yeah. Why do I keep holding my hand up here like this? Like, uh, I'm afraid to touch it. Do I think I'm a, afraid to knock these over. Do you need over. a pen or a mug or something to hold? <laughs> Are you a. Uh, I shall put my. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> okay. I shall put them at my side. All right. 
hot. Uh huh. Interesting. Oh, I numb the side of of my cheeks. Cheeks. Numb cheeks. It's savory. Mm -hmm. Is that safe to say? Yeah, it's savory. It's safe to say anything you want. It's very peppery. We it's a, very savory. Are we in the We're trust in a tree? safe space. The triangle of the cone of trust or whatever. It's a cone of silence or the circle of trust. No. Don't mix a metaphor. Don't I mix can, a movie reference. I can do what I want. Alright. It's uh it is peppery. Whew. It's very peppery. That one is definitely hitting me. Yeah. All the chest feels. All the feels right there. The thing about doing five is I don't really remember how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's but why we go back. I kinda do. I kinda do. Yeah. But yeah, I need to I need a refresher. Alright, let's take a quick break. And sure. I need a rest. <clears throat> and we'll come back. This sounds good. For these. We'll be back. Oh hey. Finish chewing first, don't talk with your mouth full. Why don't we do something constructive while we're waiting for our palates to recover in it's, in it's cracker time? Sure. Do some plugs. You guys can follow us on the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, <clears throat> Facebook. It's all at It's Bourbon Night. And you can visit our Amazon influencer page for fun little things like these Tribeca glasses and bar mats, other things to do your own bourbon night. And that's amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night. And then lastly, you can become one of our drinking buddies by becoming a patron. And that's patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night. Mm. All right, I'm going to finish my cracker. Finish your cracker. Hey, we're back! Okay, um, now... Oh my god, I've always right. wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> do it! I can't, do because it. I don't do it as good as you. Do it. I don't do it as do good. Do it. And we're back! Okay, <laughs> okay. You good. were just a little, you were like, hey, and we're back. I'm not good at projecting. I'm small. <laughs> Uh, so palettes reset, got some crackers in us. Oh, that's really gonna be in there. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not gonna add that out, come on. Um, so we decided to go back, back through A through E this time. So this is round two, this is right A. Oh, here we go. I think A's pretty solid. I think it's too sweet. I mean, yeah, it's sweet, but I think it's pretty solid. Not, not the sweetest girl in the world, so mm -mm. it's not really my thing. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, right, B. Yeah, this one's more middle of the road for me. Less sweet, a little more oaky, more rounded, mm. in my opinion. Sure. To me, I can I can pick up on the on the spice, but it tastes a little weak. Mm -hmm. You know, probably low proof. It just tastes a little mild. Yeah. Rice C. Woo! This one's so heavy on the. Um, it's like a. To me, it's like cherry pepper. Cherry pepper syrup. It has yeah, a consistency. Yeah, exactly. It's the mouthfeel, if you will. It's very syrupy. I know uh, that we've said that a lot, but if I'm, yeah. Compared to the others, it's uh, I do the like, heaviest. It weighs on your tongue. Yeah, I do appreciate the kick from it. Me too. Yeah. I'm. A, I like that. Yeah. Again, I'm getting the warmth, which I have not gotten with the other ones. Yeah. Which I like. Mm -hmm. But it's so forward in a, in a specific area. Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> Righty. Now, this is the one that we started with initially. Mm -hmm. And you know, honestly, it kind of, from what I remember, tastes the same as when we started. Me too. It's definitely more in, it tastes a higher rye for a rye. Mm -hmm. And it is awfully light, <clears throat> potentially young, but it's not off-putting for me. No. I think I'm getting more used to this type of flavor profile. Yeah. I mean, so far I'd say I definitely have a front runner. I'm confused by the other three because they're just <laughs> going in such different directions. Yeah. Everyone's just... It has like a brulee kind of like a toasted burnt sugar. That's good. It, again, second time through, same mm. as the first. I think it's the most bourbon-like out of all of second them, Second verse, same as the first. I was going to say, yeah. it's the more <laughs> bourbon-like, same thing we said first time through, Yeah. than these other. Now... But I also think it's the most well-rounded and packs the most flavor in general. Yeah, because I was just going to say, should we say it's our favorite because it's the most bourbon-like? In a rye flight, maybe not. However, like you just said, it's well-rounded well balanced. Like I, I don't think know. C has the most forward flavor. C3, whatever this one is. C3. PO. This one. 
has the most forward flavors that are like punching you. Dear oh dear. But I think the last one has the best balance of those flavors. It's sort of like in harmony, whereas C is sort of jutting. Mm, mm -hmm. Three, whatever. So shall we choose? <sighs> I needed to do some some investigation. Yeah, right? we're, we, uh, okay. Let me just, I gotta do my thing. Okay. Okay, results time. Um, now this is gonna be a little different since we have the same thing. Right. Uh, it's gonna be a little different, so don't be scared. Hello, come in. Shh. What's your last place? E. E? Okay, yeah. Okay, well that worked out. <laughs> Your last place is Old Henry, Old Henry Clay. I'm, yeah, you kind of felt that, right? Well, I just thought that it was the most mild and packed the least flavor and just general. Youngest. Yeah, it felt young, but I mean, it didn't taste bad. It just was so flat to me. Sure. What about your fourth place? Fourth place is letter C, which I believe I guessed correctly as the Roman man. Is that correct? You are correct. That's right. The Roman man. Um, so. Also a younger right. whiskey. Now that isn't what bothered me. Um, because when we did the uncorking, I was like, oh, this is interesting. You yeah. Know, I can appreciate the flavors that it's putting out there. For me, I like the flavors of my top three better. Yeah. And as, as we've experienced before, doing an uncorking and putting something in a flight is a completely different ball completely, of wax. Completely, yeah. Because you're only dealing with one whiskey in no an uncorking. And then in a flight fight, you're comparing against these other flavor profiles, which can completely influence it's true. your decision. So it's it's really interesting. And yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me tell you more about my okay. science. Okay. Third. Third place is A. Old overhaul. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy. I mean, I only remember that because I wrote it down. Right. So <laughs> we mixed them up. I didn't know that that was it. I, yeah. I had never honestly tasted it before today. Right. Yeah, me either. So I'm fine with that. It, I thought it was nutty. Yeah, and mm -hmm. Jim Beam. And Jim Beam tends to be nutty. So. Right. What's your first place? D. Your first place is Michter's. Oh. Makes your second place Baby Saz. It was a close first and second. I had to go back and forth. Um, do you like this? Oh, God. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Probably not. Let's move past it. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the baby Saz is good. Mm -hmm. There was just a little, like, and the finish, just a little, like, I don't even know, a tinge of something. This this motion. Start the car. Um, start the start car. The car. Yeah, just like a revving. It's not, it's not going. And then the mixture has, like, a nice, but again, the most bourbon-like, a nice, like, caramely spiced, rounded. I liked it, so. Very good. There you go. What is your last place, sir? <clears throat> I picked up my... First I place. saw you pick up your yeah. first place. Um, my last place is E, which I believe is your last place. That's also. correct. So, so that's the... Old Henry Clay. Old Henry... <laughs> the old Henry... The old Henry Clay. That's right. Uh, yeah, tasted young and... It tastes high rye, young high rye. Fourth place. Fourth place, uh, A. Your fourth place is Old Overholt. Huh, okay, yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Jim Beam product, guys, come on. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Well, different ball game with Ryan. Right, different ball game. Okay. Now, what is your third place? Third place is what I feel like is the Roaming Man, uh, C. C, yes, you're right. Okay, Roaming Man. We kind of knew that, the color, the kick. The color and the kick, yeah. But what I really appreciated it about it and why I put it third instead of fourth was that kick, was the foolproof, you know, barrel-proofness of it. What's your first place? I don't even know what that says. Uh, my first place is letter D. D. That's the Mictors. Did we do the same thing? Did we just become best friends? Yup. Yup. Good, because we were already friends. I know. Okay. Well, but now we're best friends. Right. So my first place, Mictors. My second place, Baby, Baby Saz. Saz. Just like you. Just like me. Wow, we did the same first and second. Wow, look at us, twins. <laughs> twinning, totally twinning here. Oh, don't say that. Uh, all right, guys. So that'll do it for us. Thanks, Sarah. 
Thanks, Chad. Oh, God, okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Or rye. She got it this time. I did. I did it. I don't know who you magic pixies are, but I like your pixie drink.